Why is it, guys, that Democrats love to associate themselves with creeps? Because now another Democrat has now gone down in flames. These Democrats, man, these leftists, they seem to associate themselves with the lights of a uh, Jeffrey Epstein. And why is it, guys, that uh, we still don't have that list of people that were actually on Epstein's island? Why have not why have these people not actually been arrested? Bill Clinton has been there 26 times. But we're supposed to believe that Jeffrey Epstein um, killed himself in prison. But anyway, I digress on that because. A Democrat mayor now is going to the big house for being a creep. Good friends with one uh, Pete Booty Jig, by the way. And I believe this guy is also a part of the alphabet community, just like uh, Pete Buttigieg. Yeah, he's going to be spending since um, tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving. Happy early uh, Thanksgiving. He's going to be spending the next 30 Thanksgivings in prison because this guy was into some horrific activity concerning children. Boy. I got to try to clean this up, guys, to YouTube, because this is disgusting. Look here, guys. Former Maryland mayor, prominent Democrat, sentenced to 30 years for possession and distribution of child sex abuse images. I hope I don't have to repeat that again. I hope not. But these are the types of people that are in the Democrat Party. He's not the only one, man. And uh, by the way, Beijing Biden, he loves to um, sniff little girls, man. The, the Democrats are into some weird stuff. Extremely weird stuff. And he's been a guest at the White House quite a bit. You know, but uh, let's go ahead and. uh Read some of this. And this is a scumbag right here. His name is um, Patrick Wojohn. Yeah, right there with um, Pete Buttigieg right there. Yeah. It says here, disgraced former Maryland mayor and prominent Democrat Patrick Wojohn was sentenced to 30 years of prison after he pleaded guilty to dozens of child. You know what charges? This is despicable, man. Despicable. Wojohn, who formerly served as the first openly gay mayor of College Park, Maryland. Yeah, I was right. He was part of the alphabet community. He's gay. Received the sentence after he was arrested for possession and distribution of child. You know what? In March. I can't even bring myself to even say it because it's so disgusting. Reports Fox News and even um, lives a TikTok here. Yeah. I mean, my God, man. Look what our uh, lives of TikTok wrote. Pete Booty Jig's buddy pleaded guilty to 140 charges. And was sentenced to 30 years. Wow. There were over 500 victims. Including infants. Whoa. That is shocking right there. Shocking. Five hundred victims. This is the guy right here. These are the kind of people you people that vote Democrat. These are the kind of people you guys vote for right there. Your good buddy of uh, Pete Booty Jig. I'm not accusing uh, Pete Booty Jig of anything. I'm not. But these are the types of people that Democrats Associate themselves with. Uh, court documents said that uh, Wojohn used the social media app Kick or Kick Keek. I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway, never heard of it. OK, uh, to load and distribute. Yeah, that stuff. Now, it's not Kick. OK, Kick, kick is like a um, a new uh, alt tech uh, platform. That's it's not Kick. It's K.I.K. Keek. Maybe that's the way you said it. But anyway, police later confiscated a storage device, several cell phones, a computer and a tablet from his residence, all due to suspicions 
they contained that stuff. Man. The longtime Democrat was a mentee of Beijing Biden's transportation secretary, Pete Buttigieg, who himself was also a small time mayor. Well, John also has made numerous appearances at the White House, often seen, often being seen in photographs of Buttigieg in Washington, D.C. And I'm curious now how much of this uh, Pete Buttigieg actually knew about. Like I said, not accusing him of anything. I'm just asking questions. Well, John has referred to Beijing Biden as the most pro LGBT occupier of the Oval Office of U.S. history. Yeah, Beijing Biden also had um, transgenders um, parading around the White House grounds back in uh, June. Topless. Yeah. It was a black eye. That particular person, I believe, uh, Rose Mantoya was banned from the White House ever again. But these are the kind of deviants that Joe Biden, Pete Buttigieg, these are the types of people they associate themselves with. Man, Republicans, man, you should be you should easily run on this kind of thing. You know, exposing the kind of people that um, the Democrats associate themselves with. Uh, despite Wojohn's charges, the city of College Park put out a public statement thanking him. What? For his many years of dedicated service. My goodness. CBS reports that Wojohn pleaded guilty to over 100 counts linked to the possession and distribution of that stuff. Ugh. Back in August. The plea deal calls for Wojohn to serve 30 years in prison. According to the office of Prince George County State Attorney um, Aisha Brave Boy, at the time of his resignation, Wojohn said that while, quote, this investigation does not involve any official city business of any kind, it is in the best interest of our community that I step aside and not serve as a distraction. He added that he needed to step away in order to deal with his, quote, mental health. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. This sit scumbag is now going to be doing 30 years in a slammer. I'm wondering um, if he didn't actually agree to a plea deal, how many years he would actually got. Would it have been life or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. But these are the types of people, man, these Democrats are associating with. Invited to the White House, man. When Democrats are sick, man, they associate themselves with the, with the likes of this person and Jeffrey Epstein. Sickening, man. Sickening. But I'm pretty sure your mainstream media isn't exactly covering this. Of course not. Because they want to run and hide cover for Democrats. This is pretty sickening, guys. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and White Network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thank you.